This is a comprehensive wrap on these major stories on 247 News Flash. Tonight, a former Commissioner of the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, Justice Emil Short, has advocated the curtailment of the excessive appointment powers of President under the 1992 Constitution to enhance good governance and democratic accountability. The minority in parliament has urged government to use the profit it has made from petroleum resources to cushion Ghanaians against the escalating cost of living, according to the minority, contrary to claims by the government that the Russia war on Ukraine was impacting negatively on the Ghanaian economy, it was rather benefiting the country in terms of revenue generation. Members of parliament yesterday called for the protection and safety of journalists to mark this year's International Day to End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalists. The day is set aside to draw attention to crimes against journalists, which remains high globally. In other stories, the Ghana National Association of the Deaf has called on health authorities to ensure that healthcare workers receive in-service training to understand and care for deaf people, particularly those with mental health conditions. In business, the World Bank is casting doubts over Ghana's ability to reach upper middle income status by 2037 to 2040 and graduate to high income status by 2057. According to the Britain Wood Institution, the economy has become more re reliant on natural resource extraction whilst growth in other sectors have stalled. The Institute for Energy Security is appealing once again to President Akufuaru to bring back Temaria refinery in the shortest possible time to refine and sell petroleum products at cheaper prices. In a statement, it expressed worry that an oil producing company with a refinery capacity of 45,000 barrels per stream, they would have its top government officials abandon its domestic competitive advantage and rather seek to import refined petroleum products elsewhere in the name of reliability and affordability. On the On the globe of France, a court in Paris has sentenced the former Liberian rebel commander in, to life in jail for complicity in crimes against humanity during Liberia's civil war. Kunti Kemara was a senior officer in the Yulimo armed militia, which oversaw a reign of terror in northern West Liberia in 1990s. Still on the globe of France, Canada has ordered three Chinese companies to divest their investments in Canadian critical minerals, citing national security. China in response accused Ottawa of using national security as a pretext and said the advertisements other broke international commerce and market rules. Sports former captain of the Black Stars Asamwajan has revealed that he has never been able to get over his penalty mess at the 2010 FIFA World Cup against Uruguay, which denied Ghana a first ever appearance at the semi finals of the competition. Chelsea survived an early scare as they registered their 100th Champions League victory by coming from behind to beat Dinamo Zagreb in 2-1. Graham Potter's side had already secured top spots in Group E before kickoff, but they head into the knockout stages in style after winning four of their six matches. In entertainment, dancehall artist Shatawali seems ready to collaborate with the police in investigating the late artist manager Fennec Otres murder. In a post on Facebook on Wednesday, the musician shared the police statement, inviting him to open up on what he knows about the incident. Finally, in the news, while investigations into the death of Ifiana Adeleke, son of famous singer Davido, are still ongoing, the police in Lagos has released six arrested suspects while detaining two. According to LA reports, the three-year-old allegedly drowned in his father's swimming pool in Banana Island, Lagos, and was underwater for an unspecified period before he was spotted. That will be it for the news this evening. Thank you for watching.